Lisa, did I hear you confirm that the evil spirit may have caused this? Were you able to see the evil spirit when you left your body? guys so today we have a very interesting session usually when I research someone who I hope to get in contact with I do this so that I know what to base my questions off of based around you know particular life events that had happened to them and also to find out more a little bit about their death so that we can ask them about it when doing this I usually find very generic information about the person's life and death online but there's typically nothing striking about the information that I learn Today with Lisa, I found some very interesting information which may be linking her death to something a little more mysterious. Something even paranormal. Lisa, if you're here, you can come through and you can use this device to speak to the world. Lisa, I know that you're here because my spirit guide George has confirmed it with me. Are you able to use these settings alright? Yes. Was that you trying to come through yesterday when I was talking with my spirit guide, George? Yes. George, does. George, that's right. We have some questions to ask you tonight about your life, the day you died, and how you're doing now on the other side, Lisa. I have some great and we wait. The girls Lisa, how is life on the other side? I'm It's peaceful. From what I've read, you were a very spiritual person here on Earth, Lisa. I I think I heard something about God. Have you made it to heaven, Lisa? It is very beautiful. And then it comes down and all the people know. The big law. It's amazing. I also wanted to ask you about this evil spirit that you said you had in your life. You said that there was a spirit that would follow you everywhere, I believe. Um, there was also one event that I believe took place weeks before your own death, which was a car accident involving a young boy who walked in front of your assistant's car while he was driving you somewhere. Lisa, if it's okay to transition over to some more personal questions now, I would like to ask you, do you remember the day that you died? Car? car, that's right. You died in a car accident not long after uh, the accident with the little boy. Considering how closely linked these two car accidents were in time, the one with the little boy and the one that ended up taking your life. Do you think that the car accident that ended up taking your life was caused by the same evil spirit that you claim to have caused the first accident? Oh yes. He was on I did hear what I believe to have been a yes at the beginning. I didn't want to interrupt Lisa, but I wasn't able to hear everything, so I will have to go back later and review this. Lisa, did I hear you confirm that the evil spirit may have caused this? 
Were you able to see the evil spirit when you left your body? Wow, you're such a strong spirit, Lisa. This room right now, guys, is full of energy. It just, I can't describe the feeling in this room right now. Wow. Lisa, do you have any messages for your family, your boyfriend, or your friends in TLC? Do you still think about TLC? TLC forever. Forever? That's beautiful. Do you still sing on the other side, Lisa? I know you mentioned God earlier. Have you spoken to God on the other side, Lisa? You want some light? I can try to project my light energy for you and envision the light. I also have a ultraviolet light that I can try using here to give you some energy. Would you like me to do this for you, Lisa? Please. I'm going to envision the light for you, Lisa. Let me know if you can feel this. You can also use the energy from this ultraviolet light. Can you feel this, Lisa? I'm unable to hear everything you're saying right now, but I can definitely sense a very warm presence in this room, Lisa. Are you going to go back to heaven after this session? I feel that's where you are on the other side. It's warm. Yeah, you can tell that we're starting to lose contact with Lisa, unfortunately. I can tell because there's less energy in the room right now, and she's leaving fewer replies as compared to before. While that typically means that the spirit is losing their energy, I think that in this case it's because she's getting farther and farther away from us. I think she may be going back home to heaven now. Lisa, are you still here with us? No, I think I think she's gone. Um, that's that's unfortunate, but at least we know she's in a better place right now. Well guys, I guess that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was definitely an interesting session to film because we were able to witness at the end what I believe to be a spirit going back up to heaven. A lot of people always wonder uh, why our sessions are so quick and why they can't be longer. The reason is because that spirits uh, end up losing their energy or in this case they end up going back to wherever it is they came from. Why they can only stay here for a short period of time is unknown. Maybe it's not safe for them down here, or maybe they get sent back and they don't really have a choice, or you know, maybe they just automatically get sent back when they start running low on energy. We don't know how much energy it takes for them to be able to stay here with us, but hopefully we can find more answers to some of these questions in the future. Um, until then though, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching today's video, and until next time.